Nothing to say. Said it all when he was here, I reckon. Say the amen, Brother Jordan. In your name we pray, Heavenly Father, for the eternal peace of Charlie Bankston. You simple cowboy. Amen. Amen. Shot at tequila now and then, never heard either with or without. With? God, Amos, I have missed your lemonade. Well, that's one hell of a thing to miss. 
Some tears on the end there, John William. No tequila, no sugar, just plum salad. That's like granddaddy dying to get her home. I'm doing something different with my life. I swear I've never done anything but put people in their graves way ahead of time. Your granddaddy scared the hell out of the whole century. I was thinking more of Mama. You ever notice how hard it is to impress a fellow that owns this many acres of genuine Texas cow patties? Hey, you look my happiest, Right back at you, Jake. Sure have spent a big part of our lives out here on this porch. Some of the best parts, anyway. Like old Charlie says, used to say, the best parts of life are the little ones all added up. It's like I used to. Mama? Grandpa? Why don't you just drag me behind the car like a new road? Don't go flying off the handle like that, Will. This is Charles Bankston's last will and testament, and by God, we're obliged to honor it. Besides, the witness that signed off on it sitting right there, jump on Amos. I imagine he did more than witness it. Conspires more than like it. Like it or not, Will. Charlie left his interest in the Dry Creek Ranch to Jacqueline Cooper. Jake, will you retain your late wife's holdings? It all stays in the family. Family? Took somebody dying to get the girl set foot back on the place. How can I partner up with her when she won't even speak to me? Will, it was Charlie's idea of a joint venture. No, Otis, it was Charlie's idea of having the last word to damn well know it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I could draw up a buy-sell agreement. Why don't you just buy out Jake's interest? Disgruntled partners do it all the time. How about you, Jake? Just buy your daddy out. I could draw up the paperwork. Now, you hold on one damn minute, Otis. This ain't no business partnership. It's a family. That's how you notice. Would you stop talking about me like I'm not even here? Habit, I guess. It's not for me to tell you how to work this out, Will. Jake. But I can't tell you this much. Aside from whatever else you owe, You've got one hell of an inheritance tax breathing down your neck. If you folks can't work together, then that's the end of Dry Creek. I believe I'll have that special lemonade now, Amos. I believe I'll join you. You know, Will, really isn't all that hard. I don't want them hard. That's the way I always do. Not the eggs. Life, John William. You just go down that hall and you wake your daughter up and you tell her... And you tell her that you want to talk. And you sit down on the edge of the bed and you just tell her your side of this. And then you shut your mouth while she tells you her side. You know, try little things, you know, like let her finish a sentence. Just go in there and for once try to act like you don't think things always have to be your way or the highway. says breakfast on the table getting cold. You coming? Charlie didn't set this deal up to provoke another family fight. He was hoping for a family reconciliation. It's gonna take you two of you. Come on, call him. I don't know how to use that thing. It ain't that hard. Watch it. Well, if you ain't gonna call the girl, maybe you better put your thinking cap on. Because this time, the bank may not let you go if you're not over until they They haven't had a problem with it in a dozen years, Amos. Why should they now? Maybe you don't owe the bank enough money. Maybe that's the problem. You just need to go down to the bank and convince them that they made a terrible mistake by loaning you the money in the first place. You certainly have a strange point of view, Amos. Yeah, well, when you ain't the lead dog, that's the point of view you get. Amos will work on my headaches. Listen, Amos, it's not going to be a bit of good for this old horse's leg. 
I told you I could stop them headaches, and I don't need no minimum. That's plenty coming from you. You are the headache most of the time. You see, there's a spot on the bottom of your foot, Will. If you rub it, the headaches will stop. How the hell is my foot know where my head hurts? It's a left brain, right brain thing. I ain't got time to explain it to you, but just understand, I don't trust nobody that don't like to have their feet rubbed anywhere, anytime, by anybody. Folks, some places think it's better than sex. Well, that's the trouble, because I wouldn't want you rubbing on my feet anymore, and I want to have sex with you. You know, only just... Look, Amos, she quit on me twice. First time eight years ago, second time two years ago. I'm not calling her. I'm not letting you do my banking. I'm not going to be any foot rubbing, so deal with it. Same as bill collectors don't drive fancy cars like that. California license plate. I believe the girl has come home. Why would she be driving a car like that? <laughs> I told you. I knew it. I knew it. You have to go back and gather up your stuff, huh? Nothing I'm going to say now is going to matter, so the way I see it, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, let's just get this over with then. The land's worth little or nothing after five years of drought and taxes. Hell, the taxes have gone sky high. How's 5,000? Earnest money. Probably a dicker the details. How about 50,000? That is, earnest money. 90 days till closing, water, mineral rights. Seller, that's you, pays for the environmental study. Here's my check for 50,000. It's good, don't worry. You can call the bank. Where'd you get this kind of money? How the hell are you gonna get the rest? Same way I got this. Work my butt off for it. Look, you've got some tape. You're gonna need it. Hi. Oh, hey, Bug. Get your co-conspirator to help you out. See if she's got it in her. Just fine. You got all the rest you needed. Hardly any traffic once we got east of Tucson. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Easy. told you, Will. There's a whole lot more to that girl than you've been willing to see. I've got a feeling things are going to get real interesting around here. Hey, Grandpa. Maybe Mama will let you ride Lucky. We'll see, brother. 
Take it. Seems like every time prices are down, we're between a rock and a hard place. We've been beat up in the last three auctions. Well, look at it like this, Will. We ain't the only ones taking a beating. Half the brands in the hill country are milling around out here. That's true. Come on, Will. Half those people are selling off the lands fast they're selling off cattle. Sell a thousand acres to save a thousand. There you go. All right, I'll cover our feed bill for the last month. Time's always changing, Will. Yeah, and I don't dry creek like that. You said anything to Jake? Say anything to Jake about what? Oh, Jake. You know, ranching stuff, heifer stuff, bull stuff. We ain't got no money stuff. What are you talking about? Amos, just how bad is it? What, nobody's gonna answer my question? Grandpa Charlie was a hell of a cowboy. Just wasn't much of a business man. <laughs> you are. We are starting to work it out. You know, it's a little late to start working this out, don't you think? Things didn't go to hell when Grandpa died. They went to hell when you were out on the rodeo circuit six months out of every year. Did it ever occur to you that the rodeo winnings is what kept the dry creek afloat through the drought years? You don't think I was out there riding bulls and broncs for belt buckles, do you? I know what you're thinking. The prodigal son returns home, try to take over. Somebody sure as hell has to. You know something? I wish to God you were the prodigal son returning. I'd knock you on your right now. I wish to God I was the prodigal son too, because I would knock you on your eight years ago when you unplugged my mama. Let's go, Billy. Spoiling him. What's spoiling? Look here, Mama. It smells pretty, Billy. <laughs> that is one fine looking piece of horse flesh. Who went with it? Oh, it's one I've already done with him, Amos. He's fast. He's a winner. Is that so? Believe it or not, we were building up quite a reputation out on the West Coast. Lucky running, me training. My plan was to use my winning to set up a training facility with a rehab center for injured horses. I was this close. So why'd you walk away from that and come back to the hill country? I truly wish I could tell you, Amos, but I don't know myself. I'm sure you do. Billy, you all right? Where'd you get this buckle? Good horse flesh, honey. You done good. 
I'll tell you, all the people I've ever worked with, I've never met anybody who can train a horse like she does. And she's got some real talent. What do you think of your girl's horse, Mr. Cooper? I think that horse must come from some pretty good bloodlines. Want your daughter, sir? You staying around these parts, Morgan? Yeah, yeah, I think I might uh, check out this hill country of yours. Yeah, the Chamber of Commerce ought to hire your daughter, sir. She's not talking horses, she's talking Texas. Texas, huh? Um, I think we have to get going. It's getting kind of late. Thanks, Ken Morgan, for bringing Lucky and for bringing the video of his last race. Okay. I know you didn't get a chance to see him before you left. And okay. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. There you go. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Pleasure. It's good to meet you, son. You come back again, all right? Yeah, come back all the time. There's always a sideshow going on around here. I appreciate that. <laughs> Pleasure, Mr. Yeah. See you, Doug. Well, don't just stand there, girl. Walk the man out to his truck. Ain't you a liberated woman? <laughs> 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 I don't know how beautiful this place can be. You, uh, you better get going. Go. Morgan. We've, uh, been friends for a long time. It's not my fault. Oh, Megan. I thought I was a pretty good trainer. But you told me that the first thing you teach a horse is to trust you. No, that's not work for people to You know what I was thinking, Jake? I was thinking that standing out here in this moonlight, you look just like your mama. I do? <laughs> she always had this certain look in her eye, like she knew some secret that me and Will were never going to figure out. Oh, me and Will used to give her hell. She loved every minute of it, too. She could dish it back just as good as we could shovel it at her. That's not how I remember Amos. Well... It ain't the kind of thing that a little kid can understand. You know, you never have really understood just how much they loved each other. It's funny how some people can find so much love. Some people just can't get it right. Such a really sad. Just gave up on it. <laughs> first got married she planted about a dozen fancy rose bushes <laughs> they burned in the summer froze in the winter the deer ate them the bugs ate them no matter how hard she tried they always come up looking like a bunch of sticks roses out here everywhere well you see your daddy thought them rose bushes was a pain in the butt so his idea was just to smother them out so when we dug that north stock pond he took a whole truckload of dirt and brought it down here and dumped it right on top of them sticks of course, that just happened to be some of the best fertilized dirt in the hill country. So nature took its course, and next thing you know, Sarah's roses was popping up out of the cow paddies. Your daddy was mad as a hornet, too. But she thought he hung around. She didn't know he was trying to kill him? Young William may be ornery, but he ain't stupid. He planted two more long roses for her. Just happened to be the same year you were born. You know, if you could turn loose of that anger, that pain, you might find time and energy for that love. I'm telling you, if you don't, you're going to need to get a clock and some vitamins. But if you don't get that stuff right, ain't nothing else ever going to matter. Thank you. 
it's wrong. Maybe not for you, but I'm not going to respect just those lucky with these wraps around. Let's get the silver. Oh, look at that saddle. This one's really sick. Can I raise your grandpa? See that, Mama? But you're going to help me bring the road. Sure you can, son. All right, be careful. Take good care of him. Generations. Shouldn't been that hard. <laughs> I heard your daughter was home. That should speed things up. Bob Sanchez? Sanchez Worthy? I just want to come in and My condolences on your loss, Mr. Cooper. But now that Mr. Banks has passed on, the mayor deal is prepared to make more or less one last offer. And what would that be exactly? More or less, which is it? <laughs> Mr. Cooper, we're giving you a very fair offer. More than fair when you consider the current circumstances in the ranching business and market conditions. Mr. Sanchez. Are you trying to buy acres from the Dry Creek? No, Miss Cooper, we're trying to buy all the Dry Creek. Land, improvements, implements, livestock. America wants a whole operation lock, stock, and barrel. Well, the last time, Mr. Sanchez, the Dry Creek is not for sale, and it's not going to be for sale. It's not going to be divided up into them 10-acre ranchettes, and it's not going to be a tax write-off for some big corporation. The truth, Miss Cooper, you can sell or lose it. The sales of America deal has a lot to offer. And it assures the rest of your years... It'll be a lot more company. <laughs> you see that hill right there, Mr. Sanchez? That's known as Liberty Hill. The town's named after it. A bunch of folks buried up there just happened through my kid. They made it through a lot of different wars. Diseases that no one even thinks about anymore. Drought, pestilence, the Great Depression. They were stewards of the land. They passed it on to care of it, the love of it. And that's what we're going to do. The early name, we're going to pass it on. That's the way it works, my God. This is a new man. You gotta stop looking back over your shoulder and look ahead. And you're gonna be hitting the inheritance tax is probably 35% of what this whole place is worth. Between you and me, Mr. Sanchez, I'd like nothing more than to give it up. It's been the last of my days in the lap of luxury. Between me and you, I'd better say that you're the one who did not be expressed. I'm not planning on being the one who had to find the conditions. Drop the ball. No, sir. Okay, I'm going to go. I had something to do before I got fired. I'm going Collins down in the bank. He's been rolling the Dry Creek's balloon note over for 10, maybe 12 years. One more rollover is not going to make or break him or us. We'll pay the interest a little on the principal and the tax man will have to pay that off too. Why am I just now hearing about this? Jake, I just wanted to spare you. Spare me? Yeah. Don't do me any favors, all right? I am my mother's daughter, after all. horses as tools. Well, there's a whole world of people out there who buy those 10-acre ranchettes, drive Lincoln Navigators on semi-annual leases, and think of their pleasure horses as big investments. Those people take care of their investments. That is where we come in, the Dry Creek Training Stable and Equine Rehabilitation Center. Specifications. 
No, I see. You've been talking to Amos. You're only willing to hock up to your eyeballs to get out of hock up to your butt. Right now, the future of this place is held together the same way as it was in the past, with rusted barbed wire and rotted rubber bands. There's room here for a horse operation. This has been a cattle operation ever since it started. That's the way it's going to wind up. I'm going to talk to Ira Collins at the bank tomorrow, and we'll do what we've always done. It's just that simple. You know, that might work for you, but it sure as hell doesn't work for me. And we can do this the easy way or the hard way. There's one thing for sure. This time, we're not going to be doing it just your way. And for the record, I haven't eaten beef in six years. I'm a vegetarian. I don't believe in killing animals. I'm into healing them. give you the time. Not even if you reduce the principal by 50%. Look, this is an up-and-coming trend. We time with a big restaurant chain, maybe two. We feed and sell exclusively at a predetermined price per pound. There's no risk in it. If you would just look at the proposal, Mr. Collins, it's all there. An integrated and complementary concept for the horse operation. I'm telling you, service the horse lover. That is where the money is. <laughs> uh, I must say, I I'm impressed. Very. I I've never seen a better pro forma cash flow analysis on a horse ranching operation. It's, it's, it's all beautifully laid out. It's all here in black and white. The trouble is, uh, I can't get approval for any additional loan commitments until and unless you make a substantial reduction in current note. You're already holding our land and improvements as collateral with far more than what we're asking. Ms. Cooper, Jay, we're here to talk about the Dry Creek's current obligations. This will work, Mr. Collins. It's cutting edge. Look, uh, you're a set of peace. Now, you and I have to talk some turkey. I simply came here to roll a note. Now, let's get to it. Like I said, Jake, it's all very well thought out. No argument. And, and if you had this plan a year ago, before... I, I, I can't do it, Will. Not this time. If I did it for you, I'd have to be doing it for them, and we'd all go to hell. You and me and them. Well, that'd be a damn shame, wouldn't it? I would have to help him. Rex over there, didn't his daddy do the carpentry work on these teller cages? And Fausto, his daddy sweated the first oil in Colorado County. Saved this very bank from going belly out back in 31. Charlie Banks in the Dry Creek. He stayed on the board of this bank, served on it, till the day he died. That is what made Liberty Hill. And I might add, kept him in a job for over 25 years. It's not the same Liberty Hill, Bill. The newcomers aren't farmers or ranchers. Times change, people change, banking changes to keep the pace. Then it will, ranching has changed. When I married Sarah, old Charlie Banks made me make three promises. To love that woman with all my heart. To always wear a clean shirt if I can. And to always pay my debts. And I'll keep that promise till the day I die. And we just gotta get through this. What do you want to do? I just tell me. Just pay it off, Bill. It's been due ten times over. We're not only Bill or Boy's sister anymore. Tell me something, Ira. Have we changed? Yeah, baby. Yeah. So 50,000. Buy me half a year. 120 days. I can maybe get you another night if I apply it to principal. I'll detain you. Well, what did you good old boys come up with? We talked it over and worked it out like we always do. Put another band in on a gushing artery? Sounds like a good solid business plan to me. 
You know, after all that work I did, you didn't really look at it. You just sort of dismissed it. You, you're a two of a kind, you know that? Eh? As for you, you. Ira, I'll be fired or retired. You just don't understand the system, young lady. Ira's a good sort. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place like the rest of us. Big Jack, five counties if you ask me. I thought you thought I held that on. I've met Ira Collins. You want the post office or the feed store? No matter what the bank says, we still got bills to pay. Feed store. Pick you up in front of the post office. I'll be the one with his pockets turned inside out. Not you, sir. Dry Creek Post oh, calling ahead with their order. Uh, Miss Cooper. Jake. Welcome to the cell phone generation, Dabney. We'll get somebody out to load you as fast as we can. Your order's all set up, Morgan. Uh, anything else we can do for you? Yeah, Dabney, one more thing. Here we go. Yeah, give me a second. I'm just making some room here. Okay, let me give you a hand. Morgan? Uh, hello, Jake. What are you doing here? Uh, I got bills to pay. Excuse me. Get the struggle right up for you. Listen, if you have it in your head to stick around. I'm sure you get a job as a horse trainer somewhere. There's lots of horse ranches. I could put in a good word for you. Here you go, Morgan. Uh, we'll keep all the special oats in stock for you from now on. You don't really work here, do you? Yeah, I'll uh, take care of the rest. Thanks. <laughs> Come it, old man. Oh, you would not believe what I had to go through to get your dinner. Grab the two. Oh, uh, I just saw the clock and I saw the light was on. I figured I'd better come down here and take a look. You know, uh, Jake, I won't have a talk with you. Yeah? You know, you need to cut yourself some slack. And nobody can do it all, girl. You just take a look around, there's some really good things happening here. I mean, you're home, Billy's a fine little boy, and that big old black horse of yours is really something else. Yeah, he's fast. The other day when you were working him out, I thought for a minute my watch was busted. <laughs> Must have sent you back a pretty penny, huh? I bought him with the money Mom left me. It's kind of putting all your eggs in one basket, eh? It's the only basket I had. But it didn't cost that much. It didn't come from champion blood lines. Nobody believed him but me. I figured I'd give you my ticket to the promised land. You know, Jake, it gets awful lonely in that promised land by yourself. hard to imagine all you've been seeing from a horse with no bloodlines. Can I help you two gentlemen? Here's the real reason why he's a winner. Jake Cooper, horse trainer extraordinaire. Jake, would like to meet Alex Kerwin, uh, Leo Bio Farms over in Travis County. Mr. Kerwin? Ever since Morgan and I partnered up, I've heard nothing but amazing things about you and your horse. I just had to see for myself. Partners? Oh, that's fast. Well, I've been needing someone like Morgan for a long time. I know first class when I see it. We train, breed, and sell. And of course, I'm always on the lookout for buying the right horse. Yeah, I'm familiar with Rio Abajo Farms. But I need to let you know, Mr. Kerwin, Lucky's not for sale. He's already been in the winner's circle more than once. Uh, what Morgan means is the really big winner's circle. Ah. Uh, now maybe we can work something out. The three of us. With Morgan being trainer, running under my silks, splitting the profits, you do trust Morgan, I'm sure. Excuse me. You should have known better than bring him here. Uh, Jake. We never even talked about Lucky being up for sale until we took a look at him. I, I only brought him here because... Because he's got the money and you have the time and I have neither, right? And your little partnership looks like it could solve all my problems, is that it? Well, exactly, Miss Cooper. Exactly. Alex, we've seen what we've come here to see. Miss Cooper. Now, Morgan, I can fight my own battles. I didn't bring Alex here to make our offer on Lucky. He's seen the videos. He took one look at him. He knew he was a winner. 
It's his business. I brought him here because I want him to meet the amazing woman who took an old bloodline skittish colt and turned him into a winner. Folks, it's one of a kind. Now, I bet this guinea's a hundred years old if it's today. Hannah? Hannah Stone, am I right? Sam's granddaddy built it. You heard it, folks. Now, Sam's daddy built it. Granddaddy. Sam's granddaddy built it. I'm sorry. Sam's granddaddy built it. All right, Randy, let's get this show on the road. Now, you heard the lady, folks. This hundred-year-plus desk, solid pecan wood, is beyond price. Well, let's see if we can get close to something fair for today. All right, who wants to start us out? Who, what do you want to get for it? Who go $300? Who go $300? $300? Who go four? Do I hear $4? Now, who go five? Who go five? I hear $500. Five anybody? Five anywhere? Oh, come on now, folks. Now, we're trying to help a lovely lady give the government its due. God knows they need more than we do. <laughs> now, who go five hundred one time? Who go five? Who go five hundred now? Who go six? That's the spirit. Who go six hundred one time? Right. Zachary, just in the back now. We're cooking. Let's go seven. We don't want that tax man to win now, do we, folks? Who go seven hundred one time? Seven hundred now? Who go eight? Do I hear eight? Eight anywhere? Oh, now, folks, you won't find another like this in all of Texas or in all the world. Native pecan wood, and I need eight hundred dollars. Now, who go eight one time? Who give me eight? Who go the eight hundred dollar bid? Now, folks, you know that this here is a jewel. This one sets the pace. Now, do we come here today to raise money or just eat barbecue? I'm talking to you, Randy. You still got sauce in your mustache. Now, let's go 800 one time. Who go 800? Who got cold, Jordan, in the back? 800 now. Who go now? Do I hear 90 money? Not anywhere. Do I hear 800 going once? 800 going twice? 1,000. $1,000. Does that you, Will Cooper? Yep. Yeah. 1,000 now going once. 1,000 going twice. Come on, folks. Let's get a little bit up higher to sound, shall we? I'll make it $1,200. $1,200. Anybody going to top that? Anybody anywhere? She's so right there to Will Cooper for $1,200. Thank you, Will. Now, that'll make a nice desk. We're sitting down right now. Check to pay those bills every month, won't it? Now, folks, if you give us a desk, we'll have a lot of items, 126 up here for you. $12,000? That's money we could use. We don't need a desk. Jacob, you don't know what just happened here. You got farther to go than I thought. You ladies need a beer? We ought to sort out all this old equipment and sell off anything we're not using. Hell, we should have an auction. Then find out if that trophy saddle mine's worth anything. You know, Will, what you did for Hannah was mighty fine. But you need to remember, no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> we just have to... Put one foot in front of another. Where did this come from? Clown fans use cars. Where's your little purple love machine? Smile and Sam's used cars. We have bills to pay. They're paid. I'm 
I'm sure. I'm not bad with cure him. He's a little bit. I'll give him some relief. At this point, that's all that can be done. Besides hydrotherapy, I can't pull that off here. have to read it. I got it memorized by now. Please. Just not sleepy, are you? Let me see. I think I think I got the track. What are you doing, Grandpa? Uh, looking for something, buddy. Grandpa, what are you looking for? Just close your eyes. It's a surprise. Okay. Long, long time ago, he was your mama's. Now he's yours. His name's Buddy. Since you would be up all night, maybe you and him could talk things over, get to know each other. Come on, hop in bed. The both of you. Did you tell mama down she was little? Not often enough, Billy. Is that why she's so mad at you now? It's a bunch more complicated than that. Here you go. I'm not mad at you, Grandpa. I love you. Good night, sir. Up there, don't the there you go, little buckaroo. You finish those, I'll give you some more, okay? Your great grandpa used to say, Waste not one. Oh, easy. He's got all the syrup we got. Gotta think of other folks. That's a novel concept coming from you. Just what's that supposed to mean? Check. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to talk to you about that. If the check was for the buy-sale agreement, I was buying you out, remember? You cashed the check. I don't ever remember us coming to an agreement. You got your coffee. Really? Why don't you take my name? This is Biscuits. Let it bear. Get outside and come to the porch. Like Grandpa Charlie said, it's a partnership. You put in $50,000. I put in a lifetime of blood and sweat. I'd say that makes us partners. That money bought family 90 days at the bank. Family discuss matters. They talk about their thoughts and their ideas, their problems. I bought us 90 days, Jake. You bought us 90 days with my money. This is a decision we probably should have made together. Yeah, you, you have not changed at all in eight years. If you would just for once stop and, and listen. Grandpa, there's a man sitting on the porch. This time in the morning? Who is it? Really? Just sitting there. I'm going to call my grandpa. Excuse me. Byron. Hello, Will. I, I couldn't bring myself to knock at me. It's early. You look like you just run over your favorite cow dog, Byron. What's happened? I, I should have called you last night, but uh, I couldn't make myself do it. What's wrong? They let me go, Will. 25 years, and they let me go. They can just do that. <sighs> yeah, I, you know, I get the pension and all, but uh, it wasn't my choosing. <sighs> and neither was the other, Will. Uh, I told him it was a promise. I told him we had a deal. Northern Lights Bank shares is calling the note on the Dry Creek. I'm sorry, Will. You want some breakfast, Tara? Come on, we'll get out of here.
what you mean? My grandson is here. Irene, can you tell me who took over Ira Collins' job? Well, that'd be Mr. Wainwright, Jack Wainwright from Seattle, Washington. Where can I find him? Well, he's in the loan committee meeting with all the other... Mr. You can't go in. Mr. Cooper! What we have to focus on this quarter is moving our non-producing loans out of the portfolios. I had a feeling I'd find you here, Sanchez. We'll talk later, but right now I'm looking for Jack Wainwright. And you would be... Will Cooper, Dry Creek Ranch. Ah, oh, Mr. Cooper. Well, if you'll just wait up in the lobby. I signed over a check for $50,000. In return, I was promised 90 days grace to sell off stock and pay a note. Now, what happened to my 50000 Dry Creek Ranch, yes. Duly applied to the balance of the loan, a past due loan, and insufficient to cover that loan. We've decided as a committee to call the note. Well, what happened to my 90 days? What happened to five generations of honest work and trust? Trust on both sides. Mr. Collins had no authority to accept those conditions. Mr. Collins did not and does not represent Northern Lights bank shares. Your note has been called, and yours isn't the only one. Who made that call, you? Or was it Sanchez over there? Or some outfit called a Mara crook? No, Mr. Cooper, the decision came from Seattle. Now, if you'll just... Dry Creek is going to be cut up and sold off for 10 times, 20 times what's owed. Mr. Wainwright, that gives bank robbery a whole new meaning. Disposal of the property will be Seattle's decision. And here's my decision. You sent that on Seattle. You're in Texas now, mister. I'm really sorry, ma'am. We'll talk later, Sanchez. Jackass named Wainwright says Seattle pulled the plug. We either pay the note or they'll call the collateral. Which means? It means, uh, just about done here. Got our work cut out for us? Yes, sir. Where do we start? First, we call the previous act. And then we find a buyer for the rest at the best price we can. Then we flesh out and round up every head of stock on the place. And pray. Amos and the horse needs a man. I believe he does. <laughs> Thank you. 
Better get back out there. that I made not more than two weeks ago. Nothing's done in a hurry's ever done right. We're way short here, Jake. If you give me some more time, I might be able to we have to throw in the breeders to even come close, Amos. Well, hell's bells, John Williams. What are we gonna have left then? A hell of a collection of cow patties? We're not gonna have anything left to build on. What good is land without stock? A good stock without lamb. What did Charlie's daddy have when he started? <laughs> Rumor was about two dozen head of Russell heifers in a bully barn for somebody whose name he couldn't recollect. We can cut your checks in as we weigh that last year load. Tomorrow we load up the breeding stock. In the bull pasture. Are you sure? That's almost like the end of the trail. You heard him. Load him up. Start the picnic trail. Ah. Ooh. This was Sarah's favorite spot. Glad she didn't see this. Celebrating. Well, I don't know. The end of everything. Well, let's have some drink to pessimism. Made at the beginning. If they take the ranch, we don't have to make any more claims on the note. I pay my debts. Well, here's the damn fools and pessimists. Yeah. Billy, get in the cab of the truck. I get him. Looks like I'm moving pretty fast. Make it down the barn.
Ah, uh, look at that. Hear that? San Antonio, July 72. It's all right. Well, that's a damn fool move, John Williams. You could have polished it up. Fourth of July, are you right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was born. I was asked for us to know you born. We did. What about all my other birthdays? You know, Fourth of July. It's a big rodeo purse. We well, sent you a present, didn't we? We want your presents, right? We want you to be around, like a father. One thing I always said when I had Billy, at least I'd be around for him. You know why that buckle meant so much to me? It's the hardest ride I ever took. I spent all my time thinking about your mama having my baby, you. Hey, right, to both of you, just shut the hell up! I swear, heads as hard as green pecans. You know, I spent most of my life right here working Dry Creek. And I'm doing what I love, and I feel like a mighty lucky man. But ranching ain't no easy business. It ain't for the faint of heart. You work the good times as well as the bad. You're a big help if you don't need much sleep. You must don't get your blood to boil. You know, John William, living with you ain't always been no bed of roses. I understand that hard times and burying people you love can make a man tough. But damn it, this girl's aching inside. And she's been given all she's got to help us. And what do you do? You keep cutting her off at the knees. And as for you, Jake, you ought to understand by now that your daddy's done more with less than any other man around these parts, rodeos and all. But you know, he dies a little bit every time you... You... Oh, you two of a kind. Don't you hardheads get it? What happens to all this don't matter. What happens to this is what matters. Family, that's all there really is. He's out of ICU. He's in room 104 now. You can stick your head in the door, but only stay a minute. Yourself in. Why don't you get so riled up? Will you let him wake up? I ain't got anybody to talk to. You, uh, I hate this place. I can't remember the worst day. So I stayed low, sir. The girl said some pretty awful things to me that day. Say goodbye to the big girl. I had to do it. I had to take off his damn machine. Sarah's never going to come back to us. Not being Sarah again. Not in this world. You know, I never thought I'd wind up losing the both of them that day, my wife and my daughter. Please wake up, babies. We would love to bring us as far as drop us RV hands. Mama's Shake it off. A lot of people do. Yeah. We won't know anything for 24 hours or so. How about you? Are you okay? Yeah. 
And I hope Amos is going to be all right. I'm, I'm looking for that fellow Wainwright. He's out at the office at a meeting, Will. All right, where do I find Sanchez? Well, Mr. Sanchez does an office here at the bank, Will. Is there anybody here that actually runs the place? Will, is there? I believe that's you, Will. What's me? Your cell phone. It's ringing. I don't know. Belongs to Amos. Answer it for me, will you? Hello? It's the hospital, Will, for you. Will Cooper. Okay. Thank goodness you're here, Mr. Cooper. How serious is it? Very. We've done everything we know how. How long has this been going on? Most of the morning. It's getting worse. Well, Cooper, it's about time you got here. Now, you tell this janitor to give me back my pants, because we're going home. Absolutely out of the question. That must have not turned as what was ordered. Your time will be back. You must have a beast up there. Now, you heard the lady, Amos. Turn around get back into bed. Your voice goes from serious to worse. Worse? You mean as in dying? Oh, no, no, no. If you got a feeling somebody needs to do that, you do the honor. Because I'm figuring on sticking around for another 20 years or so just to make people like you and her miserable. Now, give me my pants. You know what? You tell a fella. Laying around in that bed back there, hard as rocks, counting the ceiling tiles. Well, I'm going home. You give me my britches or I'm going like this. What do to have his blood waving in the breeze? Get the man's pants. I'm getting the doctor. Yeah, you do that. Maybe he knows who stole my britches. You've been showing your butt for years, Will. It's my turn now. You know, when I was up there in that coma, I had the strangest dream. I dreamt she was rubbing my feet. <laughs> I'm worried about you. How many fingers you see? I ain't counting fingers. What happened to Jake? I don't know. One minute she's standing in a hospital room door. The next minute she's gone. It's like before. Been on the parking lot in her old truck just wasn't there. But it ain't like she just took off, Will. Sell this place out from under. No, I couldn't, and I wouldn't. Did somebody tell me what's going on? Amos, who went you out of the hospital? I let myself out, Jake. What do you fellas want to answer his question? Bygones be bygones, Mr. Cooper. Congratulations. Congratulations for what? It's going to be a big boost for Liberty Hill, the county, and the whole Hill country. Northern Lights Bank sure is glad to be a part of it. What you're looking at, Mr. Cooper, is phase one of the Dry Creek Training Stables and Equine Rehab Center, and I am proud to be part of it. Jake, you want to tell your daddy what these guys are talking about? It's my dream. Of the running, 